300 million years BC. A meteorite the size of Central Park hurtles towards Earth. With the force of 100,000 atomic bombs, it smashes into the Appalachian Mountains, the Cumberland Gap. When America passes through this gateway and conquers what lies beyond, a colony will become a continent. I think Americans have always been, have been pioneers. For a nation of adventurers and explorers. We are always moving forward, and we're always dealing with problems, not ignoring them. Seventeen seventy-five. Land west of the Cumberland Gap belongs to a patchwork of foreign superpowers: Britain, France, Spain. The rest occupied by hundreds of Native American tribes. Three thousand miles of fertile land, millions of acres for anyone who can conquer it. Riches, too. Thousands of tons of gold and silver. But this land is also brutal wilderness. Conquering it requires extraordinary people. March 1775. Daniel Boone. Woodsman. Hunter. Freedom fighter. Explorer. Dreamer. Okay, man, keep clearing. Cut it through. Coming through here. Boone and his 30 men slash through the Cumberland Gap on a mission to tap the ridges. Cut it through. Coming through here. Before us lay the finest body of land in the world, with which little exertion we can call our own. One day thousands will desire this land, and we will be rich. But Boone's journey into the western wilderness is also a journey into the American soul. The frontier is a crucible, where America will define itself and forge its true character. The King of England has outlawed any Western expansion. Illegal settlers rounded up and punished. Boone's already fought the British back east. Now, he's defying them again. Daniel Boone was that first great action hero for America. America wanted to see itself that way, I think. They wanted to see themselves as fiercely independent, uh, very capable, and and willing to go places most human beings wouldn't have gone. Come on, man, this way. Boone and his men take no supplies. Come on, come on! Survival, conjured from the land. Bear grease, insect repellent, wasp larvae, food. Come on, come on! Boone records in his journal, we're exposed daily to peril and death among savages and wild beasts. But nature satisfies all we need. Few experience the happiness we feel here in the howling wilderness. But for the Shawnee, this is not wilderness. It is home. And they will defend it. at all costs. Good work, John. Good work. These areas that seemed like wilderness to the Americans weren't wilderness to these American Indian people. They were just their lands. Daniel Boone and the Shawnee have history. Only the year before, they kidnapped his eldest son, James. tortured him to death. On the 25th of March, 1775, Boone crosses into Shawnee territory. The mountains for 
for eight days. Captain Twitty and his slave Sam are both scalped and slaughtered. But Boone pushes on further west. Well, I think more than anything, the American character is perseverance. They persevered, they fought. It wasn't easy against great odds, but they have persevered. Boone's friend and companion, Felix Walker, writes, He conducted the company through the wilderness with such bravery. Indeed, he appeared void of fear, with too little caution for the enterprise. Fifty of Boone's men die settling Kentucky. But within 20 years, 200,000 Americans pour in behind him. We were a burgeoning society. Suddenly we realized, whoa, the owner's manual says this is all ours. Keep going west. In 